what is going on guys elite Chris here and before I start the video I just wanted to let you guys know that um, I uh, made a little mistake and when I was recording this I uh, kinda had my mic muted so uh, I'm going to be doing a voiceover on this if you're wondering why the audio is kinda weird and I'm talking in like in post tense as like it already happened and that is because it already has happened for me but I kinda had a uh, blonde moment as you would say and uh, yeah so that is why the uh, voice and stuff is a little messed up I apologize for that but without further ado guys let's get right into the video okay guys so today we're going to be looking at the cedar on farming simulator 2017 we're going to be looking at how to fill the cedar once you run out I've been seeing a lot of questions on the internet about uh, people not being able to figure out how to fill them so today I'm going to be showing you on uh, Goldcrest Valley, you're going to want to head over to this bunker. There is these blue ones. Them are the solid fertilizer. That is a liquid fertilizer tank. And the uh, green one, as you just seen a minute ago, is your seeds. You're going to want to back your tractor up to the seed, as you will see in a second. Um, you're going to back it up to that. And uh, once you are at it, um, once you get close to it, the top will open on the uh, seeder. You can also open it, um, as you will see later in the video, at any time pressing the end button in order to fill it up. But uh, when you get close you will notice that it opens up and you're going to press the R button if you are on computer to fill it up. If not, the help menu in the top left will show you what button to push. So as you can see, the seeds are at 100%. If you want to change the seeds, if you are wondering, you press the Y button. Um, I didn't show this in the video, but if you press the Y button that will change the seeds at any time, you can change them. And uh, if this cedar also fertilizer, there is several cedars in the game that also fertilize, which is pretty cool. But uh, the fertilizing, to fill the fertilizer, sometimes it's a real, real hassle, as you will see here in a second. It's going to take me uh, quite a while. Don't worry, I'm not going to make you suffer through me trying to figure it out. And I apologize, but uh, the game is still fairly new, so um, the trigger is a little weird on the fertilizer. I would recommend putting the fertilizer on one side of this storage area or just putting it in a completely different area, it's totally up to you. Okay guys, as you can see, I finally got it after knocking the things around a little bit. Um, I'm going to top it off. I kind of filled it up off screen, but it is full now. Um, it is kind of finicky, but if you have the help menu open, it will tell you when you can refill. Um, most of the time you have to drive out of the area and then back in every time. I do apologize that it is such a pain to do. There's nothing I could really do about it. I just wanted to let you guys know and show you that way you know in advance. So I'm going to hire a worker on this field to drain the seeds a little bit um, because I kind of filled it up. I probably shouldn't have filled it up all the way. But uh, once I get the uh, level of seeds and fertilizer down, I will show you the other way you can fill the seeder. Okay, guys, I am back um, after having the hired worker. So some of the field, I have it down a little bit. Normally, you obviously wouldn't fill, wouldn't fill it now because it is not empty. But this way I'm about to show you is when you're working on the field and you don't want to drive the tractor all the way back to your seating area, you can uh, put it on a front loader or even put it on a front loader, load it onto a trailer and drive the trailer over and then you would um, either just kind of get the trailer close to it and press the refill button or you can do what I'm about to show you and that is pick it up and drive the bag of seeds or fertilizer over the tank or over the seeder and you do have to open up the back of the cedar as you've seen a minute ago. You press the, uh, the same, it's the same button that you use to take the, the cover off of a trailer, which is the N key if you're playing on computer. Again, there is a button in the help menu that shows you what to hit to open it. Just make sure you have the correct tool selected when you open it. So as you can see, I will lift this up and show you on the bottom that there is a slot where the seeds come out of. So again, we are going to drive it over this. And as you will see in a second, right there, it begins to fill it up. And I kind of had another blonde moment and uh, dropped the seeds because I did not have the pallet fork tilted up, which is common farming simulator and real life sense not to uh, drive around with it straight ahead because it will fly off. So guys, now I'm going to show you where to buy the seeds, fertilizer, and liquid fertilizer when you run out. This is not an unlimited supply of seeds as it was in FS15. Um, you do have to buy more once these run out which is kind of sometimes a pain but it is really cool because it adds a lot of realism to the game and that is what this is it is a simulator which means people play it for the realism and the fun so you're going to come all the way to the end of the store right as you can see right here there is a section called pallets 
you're going to go ahead and click on it and it is going to have your seed big bag, your solid fertilizer bag, your liquid fertilizer tank. It also has pig food, pallets of saplings, and pallets of the poplars. And okay, for this example, I'm just going to buy a couple seed bags. I'm not going to load them all in a couple solid fertilizer bags, which I'm not going to load at all. I'm just going to show you where they spawn at. And uh, I'm not going to drive them back to the farm. They do, unfortunately, spawn at the market. So if you are not a big fan of driving back and forth to the market, unfortunately, you will have to do it for the seeds. So once these are out, you are going to have to buy them, as I just showed you. They will spawn over at the market, and you will have to either pick them up with a front loader and drive them to the farm one by one or what I do is buy the baling trailer with the straps as you can see I already have the straps on that's because it makes it easier to load them with the straps on because you know where the straps are at and that helps you when you put them on there where you know they will be strapped down properly so that is the trailer I bought right there the uh, Flegel the just the bale transport trailer works really good for hauling pallets of wool and in this example pallets of seeds and fertilizer so that is really it guys. If you want to stick around and watch me uh, load the uh, seeds onto the trailer and uh, strap them down, um, you can watch that. I will let that run, but um, this is it for me guys. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you want to see more tutorial videos on Farming Simulator 17, please let me know in the comments as well. If you are having trouble with anything in Farming Simulator, let me know so I can make a tutorial on that to help you out or just tell you how to do it if it is simple. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoy and as always,